Okay. Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Oscar and I'm going to be doing this focus 8 to 10 on childhood. If any of you join, please type in your name and where you're from and then we'll get started. Okay, cool. Um, I want you to take a moment and think about your childhood. Think about where you grew up, who you grew up with, and how did you feel as a child? Hopefully, I will be joined by my co-teacher, Paul. Hello. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Hello, Oscar. Ah, How's it going? Hello, Paul. Here I am. <laughs> hello. Very good, surprise. Very good. Oh, yeah, we've got some viewers. Um, it's exciting. We certainly do. We certainly do. Hello, Stefano. Hello, Antonella, Maria. Oh, sorry, Lila. Uh huh. Mm. How are you all today? Are you good? Are you well? Well, I'm well. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to hear, Paul. I'm glad you're well. That's good. Thanks a million. Uh, we've got Antonella from Pescara. We've got Maria from Naples. Yay. Go, Na go Naples. And we have Chilia Tarantino from Bologna. Interesting. Oscar, have you ever been to Naples? Uh, or was it a childhood dream yes. of yours to ever travel to, you know, Bologna, Pescara, Livorno? Was it? Well, when I was a child, I, mm. and I was I was very young. I okay. do remember going to Tuscany. Oh, where wow. I am now. Actually. Yes, I have some memories of, of uh, some beautiful lots of mist, fog okay. in the morning, cool. and I can just remember awesome. uh, the leading tower of Pisa. Yes, and what about you? Oh, okay. Um, my childhood memories consist of um, traveling mainly to the south of Spain. Uh, for example, when I was younger, uh, actually the key grammar topic for today, in, when I was younger, I would um, go to a city called County Clare in Ireland, and I would go fishing with my grandparents. And also with my parents, uh, I would go on holiday with um, my parents to Malaga in the south of Spain. So they were like my my activities when I was younger. Um, what about you, Oscar? Was there? Did you go abroad a lot? When you, did you used to? Excuse me. Did you used to go abroad a lot when you were younger? Yes, actually, I was quite, quite lucky. So paid about it. And we hopped to each time. So we mm -hmm. remember a them. Yeah. But now I have some good memories of traveling. Yeah. Great. And yourself? Excellent. Well, yeah, as I said, I went to I went to uh, Malaga when I was younger. Um, and oh, yeah, we have also uh, some. <clears throat> More students here, so we have Giacomo from Milan. Hello, Giacomo, how's it going? Hope life is okay in Milan at the moment. We have Sylvia from Milan, and okay, uh, Oscar. Unfortunately, your your audio sometimes is a bit difficult to hear, but we'll be fine. We'll manage. Sorry about that, Antonella. Okay. Is the uh, clear, Paul? Can they see? Can you see started? Is it clear? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's not clear at the moment, mate. Uh, the childhood uh, can't really see it. But you know, in general, guys, uh, you know, if we use, uh, if we talk about used to, okay, 
used to. Um, so if I'm just putting a comment out there, used to, okay? Uh, we can be spontaneous here today anyway, so um, used to. When do I use it, guys? Uh, can you give me an example of the form and structure? Um, don't worry, Sylvia. We'll uh, we'll maintain. We can still we can still uh, present uh, the grammar topic as well, just while we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, so uh, used to. Um, can any of you tell me when do I use it? The form. The form of used to. Come on, guys. I believe in you. You can do it. So the form of used to, the form of used to. Okay, guys, if we can't see the presentation, okay, doesn't matter. We can just... No, we, we can just had a bit of a technical issue, so this yeah, is going to be... doesn't matter. We, we don't need a presentation to, to talk about the grammar, to Absolutely. be honest. Absolutely. Can so ask we have okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so, guys, used to. Sylvia, very good. Yeah. So used to is used to talk for past habits in the past. That is correct. Good job, Sylvia. Very good. Excellent. One point to Milan. Okay, one point to Milan. We'll have a bit of a competition here. Okay, so Milan has one point. Okay. Um, can anyone give me an example of used to? For example, when I spoke earlier about Spain or when Oscar spoke about his past experiences. Um, just trying to think of more examples at the moment. Uh, used to, oh, and uh, maybe the presentation is coming up again. Um, hopefully it will be better. Ah, there we are, guys. Oh, wow, Maria, excellent example. When I was little, okay, don't forget your capital I, I used to go to Gaeta on summer holiday. Very good. Now, subject, now the subject, I don't. Fantastic, Maria. Well done. Not sure where you're from, but one point to your city. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Let us know your city, and then we'll have a little competition. So for, so far, guys, Milan has one point. Tell us where you're from. Okay, Milan now has two points. Okay, so I used to dance when I was a child. Very good, excellent. Good, it's lovely. Okay, good examples. Paul, can you please read this slide? Yes, so uh, in this um, focus activity, memory and childhood, talking about my childhood, used to and would for past and verbs and phrases for childhood, okay? Interesting. Good. Paul, how yes. is your memory? <laughs> um, good question. Do you have I, so a good memory or a I bad? I have a very good... <laughs> Um, photographic memory, I'm very, very good, but in general, really? I often, yeah, but in general, I always lose my keys, my phone, my passport, so yeah. I think yeah. in general, I'm pretty terrible. What about you? Like, for example, today I lost my bag, and when I was walking uh, up the stairs, I asked you, where's my bag? And you said, oh, it's in the office. I said, thanks, Oscar. So I guess that answers your question. I have a good memory for other people's things. It would be better if I had a good memory for my things. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, when I was a child, I used to play guitar. Perfect. Very good. Very good. So, Maria, one point in okay. Naples. Let's try and remember this point system. So, Milan has one point, Naples has one point, and Antonella, where is Antonella from? Did she say Pescara? So, one point to Milan, one point to Naples, and one point to. My memory, Oscar, can you remember? <laughs> Milan, Pescara, and Naples. Okay, there you go. So, interesting. We'll have a little competition here, guys, okay? <clears throat> so, memories. Oscar, what is your earliest memory? Ooh, okay. What is my earliest memory? Hmm. I think my earliest memory Mm -hmm. is of our dog. Our oh, old. dogs. Yeah. We had a black Labrador called Sam. Mm -hmm. 
And I think my earliest memory is playing with Sam. I used to play with Sam a lot. Well, Maria has a dog here as well. Very nice. Is that a Labrador or no? Golden Retriever? I can't really tell. Maria, can you tell us the type of dog, the race of the dog? Not really sure. Could be a mix as well. Um, a mosh, I think we call it. Um, interesting. And what about um, you, Paul? What is your earliest memory? Yesterday, I think. <laughs> Type in. What's your earliest memory? Type in the yeah, guys. Tell us. Yeah, tell us, please. Ah, uh, let's yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. We know you're late. It doesn't matter. You're here. That's the most important thing. We appreciate you viewing us. Yeah, so guys, while me and Oscar sometimes speak to each other, we of course want to hear from you. Um, so, um, uh, Golden Retriever. Maria, very good. I'm going to give Naples another point because she has a cute dog. <laughs> and I'm just going to give Naples two. Sorry, guys. Milana's one point, Pescara has one point, and Naples has two points. And also, you know, you, I love the food in the south as well. But also, no, no. oh, the steak. I recommend the steak. But anyway, get back to the lesson here. Uh, so, Oscar, um, what sounds or smells remind you of moments from your childhood? Hmm. Good question. What sounds or smells remind you of moments from hmm. your childhood? I think sometimes the smell of incense. Yeah. Because my dad used to burn incense to have that nice smell. And so wow. when I smell incense, it reminds me of that. Interesting. For sounds, yeah. I used to live by a church. Okay. So the sound of church bells ringing. Ah, yeah, me too. Me too. In my childhood. Interesting. And in Hastings, it's by the coast. By the okay. Sea. So okay. Loads, oh, lucky. lots of seagulls. Oh, so wow. when I hear seagulls squawking, it reminds me of my childhood. So I like the sounds of church bells and seagulls. Um, okay. Students in the comments, tell us what sounds or smells remind you of your childhood. Well, Antonella has a very good use of used to, which is our grammar today. So when I was a child, when I was a child, okay, but very good. When I was a child, I used to play guitar. And don't please, please don't forget your capital letters. I was a child. What about you, Paul? Which sounds or smells remind you of your childhood? Um, it doesn't really sound like a nice example, but um, I have a phobia of fish. I'm afraid of fish. And uh, when I was younger, my dad and I used to go to a city, a small town called Kinsale which, um, like you, Oscar, is by the sea. And um, I, the smell of fish is not something that I, I really, really enjoy. Um, I don't eat fish in general. Uh, and I remember when my father had, we went fishing, and my father would catch a type of fish that was called a mackerel. And he would just get the fish, and what we, he would like hit the fish against the rock and crack. So that kind of reminds me of my childhood, or yeah, so my, if we're using used to, so my dad used to grab a fish and smack it against the rock. And it's just the smell, so that was unfortunately part of my childhood. Um, yeah. I noticed here we have one of our students from Livorno, uh, which is famous. Did I see a student? Yeah, Stefano, sorry. I know Livorno is probably fantastic for fish. Um, I would. I'm. I'm just not normal, but a normal person probably likes fish, you know. Uh, so the Gordon is famous for its fish. Um, so absolutely. Uh, okay, and the sound. Oh, so we have here from Maria sounds. I think there are some songs, plural songs. Yeah. Ah, uh, Oscar, is there any? Yeah. While Maria is talking about music, um, what is for you, a song that brings back memories? Um, for me, yeah. I, I remember, do you remember the song Crazy Frog? Oh God, don't tell me. <laughs> because I remember when that was popular, my mum used to play it 
play crazy for. I think I can actually. I think I can actually do the sound. It's like ring, ding, 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 dong, dong, ba, 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 something like that. Can you believe that something like that became famous? I was terrible with my my interpretation, but yeah. I like Sylvia's one. The smell of my grandmother's cake. Yeah. Absolutely. Anything, anything from the smell um, of your grandmother's cakes. That's a very good example, Sylvia. Where is Sylvia from? I'm just trying to remember, giving out some points here. Sylvia is from Milan. Milan of two points. Good job, Sylvia. Okay. Yeah, I good. think smell has an amazing ability to make us remember something. When you smell it, in your mind mm. you can go back very quickly it smells very powerful like that's very absolutely. interesting yeah. absolutely uh, Stefano has and a warning for you paul oh no oh so paul you better okay you better not okay if you're using the very good use of you better not come to livorno if you don't like the smell of fish i love livorno i was there like four weeks ago um i um yeah interesting I, I, I really had a good time. The food was fantastic. I had um, carbonara. As well. I know I'm probably disappointing you. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, it will be a memory when I'm older. I will say, I used to go to Livorno and try the pizza, but not the fish. Interesting. The sound of the sea reminds me of my holidays spent with my parents <sighs> when I was young. Very beautiful. Yeah, like that. I love that. I think that deserves a point. Where is Giacomo from? Where is Giacomo from? Giacomo is from Milan. You see, we've got more people from Milan here. So three points to Milan. Very good. Excellent. When I was little, uh, my mum used to dance with me with with Michael Jackson's songs. Absolutely. What do you think about the preposition, Paul? What do you think about the preposition? When I was little, my mum used to dance to my ah okay i uh, used to dance to michael jackson songs yeah Mary, so you Mary Mary we yeah. listen to songs and we dance to songs as well good job oscar yeah. good job one point for oscar everyone one point for oscar <laughs> i love competition. i'm from hastings one point okay antonella Sorry. that cooked my grandma Hmm. <laughs> Not quite cooked. Okay. <laughs> the, the cake did not cook your grandma. How can we correct <laughs> So if we're talking about relative clauses, um so I remember uh a food which or that my grand not used to make <clears throat> very good okay excellent okay so antonella there is your example okay i remember a food which or that my grandma used to make why um oscar which or that why which or uh, Antonella, oh. yeah. So the first phrase, the smell of bread mm. that my grandma cooked. Yeah. It's a relative clause that okay. refers to like things or objects. Okay, Oscar, we'll move on, I'd say, to the next yeah, sure. slide. <clears throat> so guys, we love your we love your participation. Please um, please keep coming at the moment. Milan have three points, Nap Napoli have, Naples have three points, Pescara, I'll give you two, um, I'll give Livorno two points, um, Bologna will give you one point, I haven't seen much else from there, but please, if I've forgotten any points or, or, because uh, I've got a terrible memory, please, please tell me, okay, okay, so Oscar, could you read When I Grow Up, please? When I Grow Up? What did you want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. Hmm. What did you want to be when you grew up? What did you want to be when you grew up, Paul? 
It's a good question, mate. Um, I only discovered what I wanted to be when I was in university. When I was growing up, uh, I wasn't really too focused on. Um, uh, I wasn't really too focused on what I wanted to be until I was in university, and I, um, I always had this passion for language. So I, I remember I used to have this Latin teacher called Tom Willis, and he was my inspiration. He was a wonderful teacher, very, very passionate, always using his hands, a bit bonkers like me. Um, and I kind of, you know, saw his way of teaching, and it, get, it kind of inspired me. And also in my university, when I studied uh, Spanish and abroad as well, um, I loved the way my teachers were teaching, and I thought, like, it was just a perfect profession for me. And what about you, Oscar? Tell us. Yes, I never really had an idea of what I wanted yeah. to be when I grew up. Although I do remember having maybe three or four teachers that I thought were excellent. Uh, yeah. They enjoyed what really they did. Nice. They were passionate. They were very good. Mm. Uh, and I think that that definitely contributed to wanting to go into teaching now. Very good. Um, oh, Sylvia's got a good one there. Yeah, that's a nice childhood dream there. Yeah. Good. I wanted to be a toys inventor. A toys inventor. Interesting. Where you need to remind me of. You don't really need to do all that. I can just say a toy inventor. Okay, that's four points to Milan, guys. Uh, four. Naples have three. Livorno have two. And Bologna have two. Ah, four points. When I was young, I wanted to be a seamstress. Interesting. What is a seamstress? I don't actually know. Oscar, what's a, what's a seamstress? A seamstress is somebody who makes dresses or sews, okay. I believe. Is that oh, correct, okay. Maria? You were designing and making clothes? Maybe she I can. need to improve. But I change my mind um, every month. Yes, not uh, not a focused, a focused child there. Yeah. There's always that one okay. word when you're teaching, and they ask you, "What's this word?" You're like, "Just give me a second. There's always that one little <laughs> word that catches me. Yeah. Well, okay. uh, Maria, you change your mind. Like me, mate. Like me. Um, Alessia or Antonella, if you guys want to tell us what you wanted to be when you grew up, mm -hmm. and. You guys can tell us and we'll get back to you. So, Oscar, we can probably move on to the next slide. Are you ready? So, ah. this is a list of what people want to be when they grow up. Ah, so, Giacomo, when I was young, I wanted to be a pilot. Interesting. Ah, wow. Firefighter, an actress. Ah. Veterinary. Lilia Tarantino, I love her surname, wanted to be a veterinar veterinarian, or just say vet, it's difficult to pronounce. Wow, so we've got like <laughs> some, uh, where's Clelia from? I'm Again, my pronunciation is pretty shocking, people are probably laughing at it. Uh, Bologna, okay, Bologna have three points, or maybe four, I think four, I'll give them four. Bologna have four points, Milan have four points, Naples have four points. Wow, guys, competition. Livorno have three points. Wow. Good. Antonella, yeah. I wanted to be a, a hairdresser, but now I, present continuous, I am ah. studying economics, or present simple, I study economics. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, it's the same maybe it could be a though. yeah, it could be a question as well. I wanted to be a hairdresser, but now I am studying economics. It's it's, it's not the same. I know. Sure, many people want to be something, and they and they finish as doctors or nurses. End up phrasal verb. Okay, wow, interesting. And um, Oscar, uh, can you help me with pronunciation, please? I have uh, a few doubts. Okay, uh, for example. Number eight, how can I pronounce that word? Number eight, uh -huh. athlete. 
Ah, athlete. Stress is on first. Athlete. Okay. And um, I have another. Uh, why question. don't you, you read the list, Paul? Read the list. Ooh, okay. Number one is teacher. Two is actor. Three is astronaut. Uh, astronaut. Four is firefighter. Five. Help me. Uh, hmm. Or chef. Chef. Chef or chef. Hmm. Not chef. Oh, it's an S. Exactly. Ah, sh sh like sh like shoe chef. Okay, ballerina, doctor, athlete or athlete. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. For me, ah, athlete. Athlete. Ah, okay. Cause oh, okay, athlete. Okay, reader or writer. Right, right. Okay, okay, very good. And singer, musician. Thanks, Oscar. Two points to you for your pronunciation. Good. Alessia okay. says, "Now I'm a teacher. I changed my mind, but I'm very satisfied." Very good. I love that good to hear. Yeah. Good to hear, Alessia. Excellent. Teaching. Alessia, Yay. what good. kind of teacher? What do you teach? Yeah. Do you, do you teach, teach maths or chemistry? Okay, fantastic. Good stuff. Very good. Match the phrases on the left to their meanings. Hmm. Let's wow. let the student match these. Absolutely. Yeah, please. <laughs> ah. I'll just maybe read some of the the words like throw tantrums, get if you into read trouble. The phrases, I can read the meanings. And the students can match okay. them. Yeah, it's a good idea. So I'll read left and you read right. Okay. Throw than throw tantrums. Get into trouble. Be a picky eater. Be told off. Share your toys. Look up to and make fun of. Okay. So guys, again, we have some valuable points going to Bologna, Milan, Livorno, Scala, Naples. So you need to win a point for your city, okay? Uh, no pressure, okay? I think Naples have four. I can't even remember my points anyway, but we, 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 I'll decide in the end. We'll, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to a decision. Sure, okay, good. So. But I think, be, I like the competition though. Be reprimanded by an adult. Mm. Cry and roll around on the floor. Mm -hmm. Ridicule, laugh at, mm -hmm. be fussy about food, Very good. respect or admire, mm -hmm. allow other kids to touch your things, suffer mm -hmm. punishment for doing something wrong. Hmm. Okay, interesting. All right, students, now's your time. Throw tantrums. How do we manage? Tantrums. So I think maybe your audio there was maybe how could you describe a tantrum? Maybe maybe if I if we do a bit of acting that might help them, you know. So Okay. So. <laughs> Go on then. Go on, tell me tell oh, me okay, tell you, me you tell me tell me there. one. Okay. So maybe just we'll do a game, Oscar, where you just yeah. throw, you just give me one and I give you one, and we have to act, and then that will help the students um, kind of think of the de definition. Okay, so Oscar, um, I'll give you the most challenging one for me is to be told off. To be told off. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe you might need. If you need my help, let me know. Okay. Like I can be Paul, your, your mom or your dad. Yeah. You've done something very bad. It's very naughty. This is not good behavior. You should do better. Sorry. Not good, Paul. Oh. I have told you off. There. Oh. Oh, perfect. They're doing it. Yeah, excellent. Tantrum, cry very roll. Good. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Go on, Oscar. Give me one. Um, be a picky eater. Hmm. 
Okay, Oscar, you're a waiter and I'm a customer, okay? And we're ordering meat, okay? So let's do a role play. Hello, how can I help you? I'm a, I'm a waiter. Yeah, yeah, I'm a customer. Oh, good evening, sir. We have some lovely options today. Today we have mm. steak and mm. fried tail. Would you be interested? Mm. You see, I love fish. So I'm not really interested in the steak. Ah, uh, you love fish? No, no, not to worry, not sir. You love fish. Love Today we I have love some fish. lovely, absolutely delicious salmon from the Sea of Norway. Would you like some salmon? Mm. You see, I prefer the sea from or uh, the, the the fish from um, Livorno or from Sicily. Sorry. Oh, okay. You're very picky, sir. You need very perfect food. Yeah. I can't help you. That's true. Okay, lovely. That's true. All right, to get into trouble. <laughs> very good. Tougher punishment for doing wrong. Yeah. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, picky eater. Any ideas, guys? Was my acting good enough? Hopefully. Very good, Antonella. Done. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Okay. I told Paul off. Hmm. Hmm. Can we think? To be told off. To be told off. Hmm. When I was told off as a kid, as a child, yeah. I would have cried afterwards. Like, oh, oh, no. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. I mean, you are so dramatic. You're so dramatic. Every day. Unfortunately, I work. I work with you every day. Unfortunately. Well, no, not Sundays. At least. And I, I do cry. I do cry here every day. I cry actually when I watch movies. Ah, be really? fussy. Very good, Alessia. Be reprimanded. Very good, Clelia and Alessia. Excellent. Very, very good. Um, uh, guys, you're doing really, really well. Okay. Um, as, okay, I'll just do it. I'll just mime. Um, look up. Well, look up. To, not mime. But explain. Uh, look up to. As I was saying, guys, when I was in school, I admired. Um, uh, I looked up to my. I just said the answer. Uh, I looked up to my. Um, my Latin teacher because he was very inspirational. Um, he was um, just a, a great teacher. So if you heard, Good. if you heard, practicing your listening, I already said the answer by accident, which happens a lot in my lessons. I sometimes say, match the word to the answer, example, and I say the answer. Um, yeah, so guys, yeah. any idea, any idea? Uh, Look, or look up to or share share your toys why don't we go share your toys then guys what share your toys okay. what does that match share your toys indeed antonella again very good i have to remember my points actually hmm. look up points to the cities look up to hmm. yeah and oh, I love I it. I think we give point to the last one, do we, Paul? Ah, go on, just give them a point anyway, man. Just be generous. I mean, it's a wonderful day anyway. So, okay, so um, you guys are probably not going to be happy with this, but I'm just going to say random cities and points. So, I'm going to say Naples, you have seven points. Bologna, you have six. Milan, you have eight. Livorno, you have four or five. Um, we have another city as well. Uh, what is the other city? Puglia, is it? Can't remember. Perugia. Perugia, you have six points. Um, so look, I'm sharing. I'm sharing my points. Do you guys agree with my point system? Yes or no? <laughs> that is the we question. Can, uh, well, we can go into that. Okay, lovely. Uh, Paul, can you read this, please? Okay, I'll read. So, used to and would. We can use used to to talk about something that was true but isn't true anymore. 
Okay. Um, so for example, well, Oscar, you probably be better if you read this. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I like, used to be blonde. <laughs> now I'm dark blonde. I say. Okay. Dark blonde. Okay, your audio there for a second. Oh, actually okay. Blonde. That's my mind. Yeah, like Sometimes the color of my hair can be kind of what we call a strawberry blonde. It can go a bit ginger as well. Um, if I'm in, if I'm away, if I'm outside of Ireland, uh, my hair is blonde because of the sunshine. Anyway, uh, so I used to be blonde. Now I'm a redhead. Or we often say the word ginger. And you guys can find plenty of gingers in Ireland and in England for, for sure. Probably more in Ireland. I don't know. And in Wales as well. Would you, call, would you say a woman is ginger? Yeah, I'd say she's ginger. But you wouldn't call, would you call a man a redhead? Uh, like if we're talking about description, like he's, well, it depends really. He's, he's ginger. I would just say he's ginger or he has red yeah. hair. Yeah, I think. I know, like, blonde, like I'm blonde, redhead. Yeah, so it's often used as I well. I think redhead is feminine for me. I wouldn't really call a man a redhead. Oh, okay. I don't know why. But for me, it's a bit. There's a bit of a gender there. Fair enough. Okay, we can use used to mm -hmm. or would in the yeah. past to talk about habits. Yeah. Habitual action. I used to go to the open air cinema with my boyfriend. We would cuddle and eat popcorn. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so is there something you used to do or would do in your childhood, Paul? Um, hmm, let me think. Yeah, I would go to the beach and I would make sandcastles with my friends. Uh, I will go to County Clare, which is actually very similar to Livorno. Uh, County Clare, which is like a beach, uh, beach town, and um, just you know has a small little beach and it's very very small. Um, so that's what I would do, or I used to do. And Oscar, what about you? Yes, uh, we would go to McDonald's. Oh, of course. And the beach usually in the summer yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, Antonella really in Italy red is for everything ah uh, yes this is what makes English so descriptive is we have a lot of words we have a lot of adjectives mm. in English we do um, and usually they're not gendered but sometimes they are gendered actor mm -hmm. actress waiter waitress mm -hmm. yeah for me, redhead is definitely for women. Beautiful for women. Yeah. Sometimes men, but handsome for men. Some for words. Sure. Gen yeah. Good All job. right. Good stuff. I was uh, actually. You read this, Paul? Yeah. So, wood is usually for nostalgia. Very good. So, we would walk along the beach at sunset without a care in the world. I love that. Very nice and descriptive. Um. Mm used to plus the infinitive there is a little difference just to kind of clarify the difference between would and used to um for example used to in my opinion uh is used for something that is more permanent okay used to uh is used for per uh something that is permanent is Example, I used to have a dog called Max. Um, it's something that is 100%. Um, like, I used to have a dog called Max. Now I would have. Because would have is talking about nostalgia. It's talking about actions. So if you guys can see, uh, example, would is we would walk. We would walk. Walk is what we call an action verb. Or we would cuddle, okay, which is um, an action, and we would eat. So that's an action, okay. But having something that is permanent, um, there is a little difference there. So just be careful. Uh, so I used to have, for example, 
I used to have glasses, but now I don't. Okay, it's something that is permanent, not I would have glasses, because there is a little difference and it is important to understand. Okay, so if you guys have any doubts, please ask us as well. Anyway, moving on, Oscar, when you're ready. Uh, we might, might be waiting to learn. While we do this, everyone in the chat, yeah, thing you would do, yeah, good job. yeah, yeah. So, guys, again, uh, the technology thing is slowing down, but when we've you were basically what would you do? So, guys, when you were young, what would you do when you were a child or when you were? Children, excuse me. So what would you do? Okay. Unless he still has a has um so she still has some doubts over the difference. Can you give me an example we would please? For sure, absolutely. I would um uh, for example, I would so, oh, now we're just down to me. Uh, so I would go to the cinema um, when I was young. Okay, so I would go to the cinema or I would go to the beach uh, when I was young and I would make sandcastles. Okay, so that's when we use uh, wood. Uh, and also used to is basically used for what we call um, actions that happened in the past, but they don't affect us now. For example, I used to eat uh, chocolate, but now I don't because I'm healthy. Okay, so that's when we use used to. If you still don't understand the difference, Alessia, please ask us again. Okay, so remember, would is used for nostalgia, action verbs. Used to as well, but when it's permanent, for example, I used to have um, glasses. That's something that you have, that you own. Okay, so that's when we use um, used to. Or if you guys, um, well, I have my phone here. I have my dog, um, Max. I don't know if you guys can see. So unfortunately, my dad, Ma my 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 dad, no, my dog, Max, um, is uh, is dead. So I used to have a dog called Max, but now I don't. Uh, it's not the same as I would have, okay? Because I would have is only used with action verbs. So that is basically the difference. I hope I have made that explanation clear. So guys, please continue um, with your examples. As Oscar said, with uh, I would go or um, give me an example of used to as well. So I would go to the cinema as one. Okay. Great, Alessia. I'm happy that you can understand the difference. Okay, that is fantastic. Okay, so I would go to the cinema as another example as well. Okay, that is also another use. Um, so guys, as I said, um, keep it common with your examples of, um, of used to and would. Uh, if I'm trying to think of an example, uh, another example of would, uh, for example, I would use um, social media such as uh, Bebo. <laughs> that was the first uh, social media that I used when I was younger, and I would chat on MSN. Uh, so okay, I, I understand used to. Maybe I understand would too. Okay, I hope I've clarified. 
Um, would, just to clarify, Alessia, is used with action verbs. I would go to the cinema. I would eat popcorn. I would watch a movie. Um, think of just action verbs. Okay, used to can also be correct, but just when it comes to permanent, again, just to clarify the difference. This is my dog Max. Okay, unfortunately, he's dead. So when I was younger, I used to have a dog called Max. Okay, and he then basically passed away. He died. Um, and if we're thinking, yeah, even Giacomo's come out with another fantastic example as well of for uh, I would ski when I was a child. So that's um, that's an action verb and it's also correct. So very good, Giacomo. Okay, excellent. Um, so let's just check our examples going back to the lesson. Uh, so example used to, okay, is used to talk about past habits. Um, and guys, feel free to to continue um, giving us examples. And we have, I love this example uh, by Sylvia. So I used to dance when I was a child, or you can also say I would dance when I was a child. So um, both I would dance is correct, and I used to dance is also correct. Is also correct. But would is more specifically for nostalgia. Um, just um, to just do a quick recap, okay? Uh, to be fussy about food is, um, as Antonella said, to be fussy is basically to be picky, okay? Uh, as me and Oscar showed you guys the example of us in the restaurant, um, Paul, what would you like to eat? I'd like, um, uh, if the menu was offering me steak and I say, mm, I just prefer to have fish, I only eat fish. It means that I'm basically very, very picky, okay? Um, to be reprimanded is basically to be told off, okay? Uh, so if, we, if we're going back to our example, of um, the parents, um, you know, to be remanded if you do something wrong, um, you you need to stop. Okay. Um, also, respect. For example, if you think of the phrasal verb "look up to," um, it basically means admire. Okay, um, so for example, I looked up to my Latin teacher because he was very, very passionate. So that is the meaning of look up to as well. Okay, um, also, um, uh, let's see, sorry guys, I'm nearly out of breath here. Um, we were just kind of talking about more vocabulary. Redhead, usually for females. And as Oscar was saying as well, beautiful is for women and handsome is generally used for men. And to answer your question, Maria, wood is for, yeah, for positive memories. Excellent. Okay. Um, so that is when we use wood. So just to say, who is the winner? What city is the winner of today's... Um, of today's lesson. So I'll finish by saying Naples, uh, you have nine points. Milan, you have 10 points. Livorno, you have eight points. Uh, Pescara, you have 11 points. Uh, let's see, Bologna, you have nine points. So congratulations, Pescara. You are the winner, the winning city of today's lesson. So guys, um, just as we're finishing off, uh, thank you so much um, for your participation in this lesson. It was a lot of fun. As I said, the more you guys participate with the students, the, the better it is for us um, to engage with you, okay? And always with any teacher, comment 
on the lessons to clarify any doubts, any vocabulary or grammar. Okay, so you guys, thank you so much and have a lovely evening. Okay, goodbye.